Bowflex, typically known as the as seen on TV gym equipment that your mom would use. However, the 552s are an actual contender for the best value adjustable dumbbells in my opinion. Let's review them. Hey guys, this is Coop from Garage and Reviews, and today we are reviewing the Bowflex Select Tech 552 adjustable dumbbells. The Bowflex Select Tech 552s do come from the company known as Bowflex. Bowflex is not traditionally known as the premier strength training equipment company. In fact, I think they're most known for making equipment that honestly is priced cheaply, but also breaks and is better for, you know, like not true training. However, I will say that although most Bowflex equipment is not the best, they do offer what I like to call an exceptional value. And I think that's what these are. These are a value play. These are by no means the best adjustable dumbbells that are on the market. However, I think when you look at them and compare their price and specs and everything like that to the competitors, that Bowflex, despite some issues, which I'll talk about, did a pretty good job with these. So let's talk about them. The Select Tech 552s, as their name suggests, goes from five to 52 and a half pounds. Why 52 and a half and not 50? I don't know. I think just because they have an extra plate on here and they wanted to maximize as much as they could, but they go to 52 and a half. However, understand that these do not go to two and a half increments all the way up to 52 and a half. They go in two and a half pound increments up to 25 pounds, I believe, 25 pounds. And then after that, they go in five pound increments. However, a two and a half pound jump for dumbbells of any kind is great. In fact, this fixed dumbbell set I have behind me does not go in two and a half pound increments. It goes in five pound. And a majority of dumbbells that are out there that you find in commercial gyms or adjustable dumbbells only go in five pound increments. So definitely a plus for the Bowflex for those lighter weights as you can you know, progressively overload, you know, although a light weight, you can with that lightweight, you can constantly get that linear progression, which is nice. This is, as I've said previously, designed to be priced well, but some of the features, and this is kind of typical for Bowflex, are actually really well thought out. I think their engineers, you know, a lot of their engineers are under the Nautilus realm. They've worked on a lot of Nautilus equipment and some of that stuff, which honestly, Nautilus was some of the best and innovative machines that were out there for the time. The lateral raise movement on the double shoulder machine exercises the deltoids and triceps. And they've kind of applied some of that stuff here. And I think the biggest, like, I don't know, cool factor, nice thing about these is the dials. The dial on this is not only extremely smooth, watch this. In fact, I just want to do this for myself because it's really nice. Do you hear that? You, you kind of just want to... More kettlebell. It's nice, you know, so you can just go very quickly from five, so I'm here on five, I can go all the way around to 52 and a half that quickly, it's that fast. Now, that doesn't mean changing the weight is that fast because you gotta pull this out, put it back in, and then twist this to the desired weight that you want on either side. However, it is pretty quick. However, just to show you how quick it is, let's do a test. Okay, I have my timer ready to go, I'm starting at five. I wanna go all the way to 45 pounds. Let's do it, start. Right. 45, 45. Stop. 7.86 seconds. Beat that. So as you can see, extremely quick and extremely simple to change. Now, there is an issue inherent with the design in relation to the selection dials, and that is that over time, it can be more and more difficult to put them back in the stand, and they have to be in the stand to change them. So right now I'm on seven and a half pounds. It's got these small you know, weights here. You then have to put it in the system, and unless you're like, over time, they can basically start to fall and, and be less sturdy, these weights, in the case. So it can become a little bit more difficult, and I'm exaggerating right now for effect, but it can be more difficult to place in the stand. I don't think it's like a huge issue, but it is something where you do have to focus to place it in here. I think it is easier to place than something like the MX Select 55s or something of that nature, which has a similar design. Same thing with Newbells. It's a similar design with a case or a, a 
tray that they're using, but it does take some time. However, the ability to quickly adjust in supersets from, you know, let's say you're pressing and you're pressing 52 and a half, the max here, and then you want to go into some isolation movement like a curl or French press or tricep extension, something like that. You can go from 52 and a half put it down on the stand quickly, switch it to say 20 and pull it out very quickly and very seamlessly. And that's one of the best innovations that I think Bowflex has with these. And one of the reasons that they're so fantastic and people like them. Now, that's not to say, although there's some really good things that I pointed out, there are some things that make me more weary about the Bowflex Select Tech 552s. One thing that I don't absolutely love about these, just an issue that I find with them, is the holder system that holds the actual plates in here. And this is something that's been talked about, you know, ad nauseum by people for years. And that's these little discs right here. These discs are a plastic disc. The problem with them is because they're plastic over time and after a lot of this, this, and putting them in, they end up wearing. And they end up wearing and flexing and cracking and breaking. And what can happen is they no longer have full contact with the plate and they're no longer holding them securely because they're plastic. So what can end up happening, it's kind of a safety risk, is you can end up having plates fall out. Now when you're pressing, you kind of pull it out and then you're pressing it like this. So the plate is kind of secure. However, when you turn it over, that's when it's really gripping hard. So it's more likely to fall out if you're doing a row or something of that nature where this red part is up top. So if a plate does fall out, which is a potential problem, you're not as likely to really hurt yourself as you would if you were pressing it overhead. However, it's still a problem. So what I would suggest is them to make this with metal. I know it, the problem with that, is it's gonna cost more. And this is definitely a value play. This is definitely you know trying to be a cheaper dumbbell. However, I will say I've seen some guys, um, there's actually a guy on YouTube that makes metal collars right here that can be replacements for these. I'd love to review them. I think it's a great idea because it, the design is excellent and people love the design and love the dumbbell, um, but making those metal would definitely make it superior. The other problem with this design is the fact that it's this length regardless of how much weight is on here. So if I am at five pounds or I'm all the way up at 52 and a half pounds, it's the same length, which means if I'm pressing, I'm more likely to like hit my chest or something like that. It's just more space that's being taken up and more awkward. Whereas if I'm using a five pound dumbbell, this is how long a five pound dumbbell is, all right? You, the guy she told you not to worry about. Okay, see how long that is? It's so much longer and it's the same exact weight. That's the problem with the Bowflex in terms of the width and it's the same problem that's had with the 1090s as it is the 552s. The last issue and I think something that is worth noting is the fact that it, it's just using a lot of plastic and rubber and not infinite wear parts, okay? It's not like it's a knurled handle like a barbell Barbells last forever, okay? Unless you're dropping it on safety pins or you know, really grinding it in the J-cup, it's gonna last a long time. This little rubber piece, although it looks kinda nice now, it's cause it hasn't been used enough. Over time, this ends up getting worn, ends up peeling off, it's just not nice, okay? I wish they would've, and I don't really know why they didn't, I wish they would make that like knurling. Maybe it's the market they're going after, it's like you know more of a, athleisure type person who doesn't necessarily want steel in their hand. They just want rubber. I don't know. But I don't, I don't think it's like, I wish they would improve that. And then the last one is the fact that you can't drop them. I mean, most adjustable dumbbells, they ask you not to drop. This one, I, I would be extremely weary of dropping. If you have a Bowflex Select Tech dumbbell, 1090 or 552s, do not drop them. They will break, and if they don't break, I would be even no more nervous about using them because that means they could break overhead. These are not made for dropping. There's a lot of plastic here. There is in some metal throughout for structural, but it's mostly plastic, very dangerous. Um, yeah, so don't drop them. Okay, I've said a lot of you know things that could be improved on this, but by and large, the reason that I still recommend these, despite the issues that I mentioned, is they're 350 bucks shipped to your door. 350 bucks for an adjustable dumbbell set that goes from five to 25 in two and a half increments and from 25 to 52 and a half in five pound increments minus that last two and a half. 
That is a freaking tremendous value. The amount of dumbbells this replaces is basically that whole row right there. Or actually, it's from that row over there. I mean, it's a lot of dumbbells, a lot of space, and a lot of money that could be had for 350 bucks. So if you're somebody that's not super into training, like you're not going crazy with these, you don't need a lot of weight, and you're also on a budget, fantastic value. I love the Bowflex 552s for that person. For other people that are looking for you know, heavier weight and don't like the, you know, some of the wear parts and things like that, there's better options out there without a doubt. But don't let the name Bowflex scare you off like it did me initially. It's actually something I'd recommend. Okay, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. Do you like the 552s? What do you think? Was I, was I fair? Let me know in the comments. We'll see you next time.